In this video I would like to introduce you to a robot vehicle that I'm currently developing for my project Mail to Code. As the project name implies, this robot can be controlled via email. All you have to do is send the source code of a program to the mail address of this robot. If your code was compiled correctly, you will receive an attachment with a video file in the reply email that shows what the camera recorded while driving. Details on the mail to code system including tutorials for learning to code can be found on the project page. In this video let's take a closer look at the construction of this 3D printed vehicle. The dimensions are rather compact so that a print volume of 20 times 20 times 20 cm is sufficient. I used an Ender 3 S1 Pro, you can find my review video of this printer on my second project, how open is this gadget. The central component is the chassis with the dimensions 180 times 105 times 45 mm. This has a grid of 3mm holes with openings for M3 nuts. Due to these holes in all walls, the printer has to retract very often which significantly slows down the printing process. The Ender had no problems with this, the printing process went smoothly but needed about 13 hours to complete. Like the chassis, all parts are composed of simple geometric shapes. The design is not fancy. The components were created with OpenSCART, a 3D design program that creates objects from lines of code. The robot is also suitable for learning programming languages from this side. For the drive motors are two standard RC hobby servos for continuous rotation. You can buy these as such or simply modify normal servos for continuous rotation. I have already shown how to do this. Hobby servos are easy to source at moderate prices. A basic principle of this robot should be to use only standard components in order to make a copy or repair as easy as possible. Two of these are required and the servos are screwed directly to the chassis. This brings us to the wheels. These have a diameter of 72mm. This means that the robot is not too fast, the servo gears are not overloaded and there is sufficient ground clearance. The servo horn is screwed to the drive wheels... ...which is then attached to the servo with a central screw. The rear wheels are attached with a 50mm long 4mm screw and can be moved thanks to the slotted hole. The drive wheels are connected to the rear wheels via a chain that can be tightened with the slotted holes. A total of 38 pieces of the chain links are required. I printed these and a few spacers as the only components from ABS. Not because it was necessary, but only to be able to use a little of this unloved material in a meaningful way. Due to the small dimensions of a chain link, the shrinkage of ABS when cooling down does not ruin the print. Normally all parts should be printed out of PLA or if higher temperature stability is required out of PETG. The chain links snap into each other, nothing needs to be screwed here. A Raspberry Pi is used as the main processing unit, 
the corresponding mount is screwed to the front of the chassis. A Raspberry camera module will transmit a video stream and this is attached to a third servo. The servo in turn is screwed to the Raspberry Pi mount. Six LEDs are arranged around the camera so that driving in the dark is also possible. The main purpose of this project is to learn how to program microcontrollers. That's why an 80 Mega 2560 board is located as a second computing unit on the rear of the chassis. All of the peripherals are controlled via this board. What is still missing is the power supply. The power bank can be attached to the bottom of the chassis for mobile use. My proven power pole with sliding contacts is used for driving around the clock on my attic. This is also well suited as a carrying handle. A total of 540 grams of filament is required for the rover in the current development stage. Not too many components have to be soldered for the electronics. The prototyping board fits on the AT Mecha and is currently relatively empty. After installing the software on the Raspberry Pi and charging the power bank, the robot is ready for use. This prototype will be used on Teacher's Day at Maker Fair Hannover on August 19th, 2023. Would be nice to meet you there. This learning robot runs entirely on open source software and to program it, all you need is a device that can write text. It works for example with a smartphone, even without email directly in the deliberately simple web interface. Of course, the mega board with its 54 GPIO pins is not brought to its limits yet. For the basic functions installed so far, for example a nano board with an 80 Mega 328 chip is sufficient. The pins that are currently unused will be connected to peripherals in later chapters in order to be able to record sensor data or add actuators. The mount grid on the chassis offers many attachment points for additional hardware. As always, more about the mail to code system including the 3D files and the instructions for making a copy of this robot vehicle can be found at homofazians.de. Have a click. At a later stage of development, both the hardware of this vehicle and the documentation of my mail to code system, you will be able to remote control this rover on my attic. And if you would like to support me in the operation and further expansion of this freely accessible learning system, there is a donate button on the project page. Many thanks to everyone who has already made use of it. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.